In this video walkthrough, we'll take a look at using the Fact Fluency Data Collection Chart with the Worksheet Designer at WorksheetsAndWalkthroughs.com. So let's take a look at the Fact Fluency Data Collection Chart. You can go to WorksheetsAndWalkthroughs.com to print out a copy for yourself. You'll find it under our Fact Fluency Video Walkthrough section, and it's entitled Fact Fluency Data Collection Chart. You can use this to collect data on your student's performance on the four operations. And the best way to show you how to use this is to take a look at an, at an example. I've created this fluency worksheet at worksheetsandwalkthroughs.com by using the worksheet designer. And you can make worksheets for all four operations. And you have a variety of options to choose from. In this case, I chose to make facts 1 through 12. And I'm using 25 facts. I've chosen to enclose the problems in boxes. Other options you have are to include a multiplication table. You can also have examples of lattice method and distributive grid method embedded on the table. So feel free to do that at any time. But in this case, we're going to use this chart. So in this case, we can set up our time frame. Uh, we'll just use three minutes. You can choose a time that's appropriate for your group. And in this case, again, our number of problems attempted was 25, type of problem, multiplication, and it was up to a two-digit by one-digit problem, and we really focused in on facts 1 through 12. And we had a student named Norma. We gave that previously mentioned worksheet to her for 10 days consecutively. And on the first day, she scored a 7. And really, it was 7 out of 25. So you could really set the number of problems on your worksheet. In this case, it was 25. So it might be a good idea to highlight the ceiling or the maximum number of problems that could get correct. In this case, it was 25, and she scored 7 on the first day. And day two, she jumped up to, whoops, on day two, she jumped up to a score of 10. Day two, score of 10. There we go. Day two, score of 10. Day three, she bumped up to a score of 15 and held steady for day four and day five as well. And on day six, she spiked in her performance up to 20 out of 25. Bumped up slightly on day 7. She started hovering around that perfect mark on day 8. And days 9 and 10, she hit the perfect score mark. So now, you could go ahead and connect the points on your line graph. might want to take out a ruler for this part. Then, or you could um, have your students, each one in your group, complete the chart. Um, you could have students trade papers and correct each other's papers, and then they could actually chart their own progress and keep track of how they're doing and set goals for themselves. So that was a quick look at using the Fact Fluency Data Collection Chart at WorksheetsAndWalkthroughs.com. Feel free to use the Worksheet Designer as well. Thanks again for checking out WorksheetsAndWalkthroughs.com, and we'll see you again next time.